Three new festivals have arrived at Stardew Valley. Every spring 15 to 17, a festival happens at the desert. You can only attend this festival after the bus is fixed, but there are a lot of new activities and items to buy. Willie's got a daily fishing challenge for you that rewards you with calico eggs, the festival's token. You can win a total of 105 calico eggs from all three days to use for prizes. The toughest challenge for me was catching a scorpion carp. So if you find yourself struggling to complete any of these challenges, then I have a pro tip for you. Willie's fish challenges can be easier eating a certain meal with specific food buffs, which I will explain later in this video. You can find Harvey at the festival in his medical tent on all three days. He will tell you he is there in case there are any accidents down in the Skull Cavern mines. You can also find the traveling cart lady at the festival every day too, but she only opens shop after 12 noon, so if you arrive early like me, don't forget to stop by before she closes. I was lucky enough to see that she was selling some really cool catalogs. The prize booth is where you can use the calico eggs you've won to trade in for all sorts of prizes. A lot of new items that have been introduced in the 1.6 update can be found here. But this booth is not the only booth to trade for items, so make sure to explore the entire festival. Next to the prize booth, there is a man who will ask you a series of questions for a chance to win a hefty amount of 50 calico eggs. You can only win once per festival, but you do have a chance to try again each day the festival is open if you mess up the first time. Just like the night market, you can be teleported home since time does not stop at this festival. A huge plus to the desert festival is having access to the Skull Cavern even if you haven't found the Skull Key yet. Here's your chance to check out Skull Cavern for free and stock up on goodies. Marlin also gives you cave challenges to complete for calico eggs, so the more difficult the challenge, the more calico eggs can be won. You can also win calico eggs by doing Gil's challenge. There's a sign right outside of Skull Cavern with the instructions on how you can do that. A cool feature of the Skull Caverns during the festival are the calico statues you can find. They will sometimes give you calico eggs and a random effect on the mines. You will also find calico egg nodes. These nodes are only available during the festival, but the calico eggs you've collected do not disappear once the festival is over. My favorite part about the new desert festival is the chef stand. You can order free food and customize it to your liking. The meals that the chef will make for you will give you special food buffs depending on what you order. There are five different main courses you can choose from and five toppings to pair with. Making a total of 21 different meals and food buff combos you can choose from. I also love the different names each meal has and these food buffs will last you seven in-game hours. If you're struggling with Willie's fishing challenges, I recommend eating a shrimp donut. It will give you plus three fishing skill and plus one luck. There are cute, unique critters at this festival too, but I will get into that in just a moment. First, let me show you where else you can trade your calico eggs at. Each day, two random villagers will set up a booth selling special items. For me, I got Penny and Shane on day one, Sam and George on day two, and Caroline and Elliot on day three. These booths will be randomized each year, but the villager stock will always be the same. So don't get discouraged if you find yourself short on calico eggs one year. A great feature added to the desert festival is Emily's shop. She will give you a makeover each day of the festival and will only do it once per day. I tried sneaking back in with my regular clothes and she just told me I looked great. But I love the idea of getting a makeover and being given free clothing items. This concept pairs really well with the new mannequins we've gotten in the 1.6 update. You can buy those at the Oasis and display the different outfits you have collected. The Oasis is not open during the festival, however, so if you're looking to buy items with Sandy, she will be assisting Emily on all three days. I love that the different outfits Emily may choose for you are completely random, so no two players will have the same outfit guaranteed. There's a possibility you can find calico eggs in artifact spots during the festival. If you wander far enough around the desert, you may encounter the suspicious character who says they can alter the race for you for one calico egg. Will you do it? The race he is speaking of refers to those cute unique critters I mentioned earlier in this video. You can win calico eggs by betting on one of these cute critters and hope they win first place. 
You can try to win calico eggs as many times as you want and there are no penalties for not betting correctly. Unlike the town fair that happens in fall with the green and orange wheel. On day 2 of the desert festival, you can see the new tech signs that were introduced in the 1.6 update being used. Pam will tell you that she is taking the day off to enjoy the festival herself where you will find her walking around later that day. If you walk to the most south part of the festival, you will find a stand with a man giving out free cactus decorations. You can only collect one per festival, but there are 16 different cactus decorations you can collect. Different villagers will visit the festival each day randomly and will have a special dialogue about the festival and their visit. I do recommend running around to see who stopped by each day and say hi. One last tip about the new desert festival is that there is a trash can where you can possibly find more calico eggs. Every summer 20 and 21, the Trout Derby Festival is in town. Located in Cindersap Forest, this festival brings lots of out-of-towners and some special characters around. The goal of the Trout Derby Fest is to fish for rainbow trout to collect golden tags attached to them. These golden tags can be used to redeem one of 11 unique prizes. A pro tip for making the most out of your experience here is to eat meals with food buffs to help your chances. There are many meals to choose from, so pick the one you like best. Another pro tip is to use wild bait to double your chances of getting a rainbow trout with a golden tag. And if you really want to take it up a notch, you can use the new sonar bobber to see if you've caught a rainbow trout to speed up your chances. The prizes you could win at a trout derby are a tent kit, a mounted trout frame, 20 deluxe bait, two triple shot espressos, a quality sprinkler, three farm warp totems, three omni geodes, a new bucket hat, a crab pot, three mystery boxes, and a diamond. Every winter 12 and 13, the beach hosts the new annual Squid Fest. The squid-themed festival lets you win one of 13 prizes by trading in the squid you've caught. There are four tiers of prizes granting you more and better prizes the higher the tier you reach, as well as certain prizes being available only on specific days. The tier list is found right next to the prize booth letting you know how many squid need to be caught to qualify for each tier. The pro tip for fishing is to use the new bait maker to make squid bait to catch more squid faster. If you can't get the bait maker, I recommend using the sonar bobber to see what fish is caught so you can only focus on catching squid. If you struggle with catching squid like I do, I recommend eating a meal with fishing buffs. The easiest to get is trout soup bought at Willie's shop. The prizes you can win at Squid Fest are 20 deluxe bait, 10 winter seeds, one pearl, one squid kid poster, one sea foam pudding, one trap bobber, two or three mystery boxes, one dish of the sea meal, one treasure chest, three coffees, one new squid hat, and one The Art of Crabbing book. Subscribe for more Stardew Valley content if you enjoyed this video.